Hello beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back to the channel guys. I want to thank you Sagittarius for all your generosity to this channel by liking, commenting and subscribing. Sagittarian energy, what's going on? What are the messages for my Sagittarians spirit? What about Sagittarius? Messages for beautiful Saggies. Your beautiful souls, Sagittarius. You're a good mentor. You're a good life coach, or maybe that's what you're doing. Mentoring some... Oh. What is this? You have a lot of knowledge, but somebody is trying to take away from you something. Uh, what's going on? You've mentored somebody and it's almost as if you were teaching someone something. A musician, a rhythm maker. Someone was... Draining your energy, Sag. Someone you were caring for. Hmm. Sagittarius, someone is lurking in the shadows here. Someone is copying your ideas, draining on your energy. Someone is stealing your ideas, Sagittarius. Or somebody's, you know, um, see so you're very nurturing. There is somebody communicating in the shadows. These are people you have cared for. You're very loving and nurturing. It's almost like somebody is trying to uh, steal your energy here. Saj, what's going on? Because you are beyond the ordinary. So, hmm. Yep. You are beyond the ordinary, Sagittarius. You are a wise mentor. You're very loving and nurturing. And it's almost like this person was, you have caused somebody to awaken, but they were going in between. So what they were doing was taking all your ideas and sharing them with someone else. They're being exposed and revealed. Hmm. I don't like this energy. These are people you respected. They were stealing your energy or your vibrations, Sagittarius. Now you you became aware of this. Somebody did this. they were just uncaring. They were insensitive.
and they can't transform without you. <laughs> Somebody was pulling on your energy. You've had to set up some kind of boundaries. I think what was happening, Sagittarius, either you were offering advice, either you were offering to be a mentor to somebody, but they were taking that energy, those ideas, and sharing them with someone else, Sagittarius. And I think you expose this person. There is Sag, see? Waiting. Sag, someone's waiting. Mm. Communications, see? This person was taking what you communicated and bringing it forward to someone else. They cannot transform without Sagittarius. Mm. Saggy, what's going on? Jesus, Sag. The lion awakes. <laughs> Jealousy. Family. You are mentoring. You are a mentor to someone. Maybe someone in your family. Maybe this is somebody's family is jealous of you. What about this? See? They were thinking... Oh, my God. So they were taking your ideas, Sag, and they were manifesting with someone else. And they were looking into something, but they cannot see you, Sag. Sagittarius, you are a wise leader. You are a mentor. Maybe you were a mother. Maybe you're a grandmother. And it's like this person and the another feminine are very jealous of you. Now, this could be a couple in a family. That they were taking your mentoring, your ideas, and claiming them as their own. But since you... They've been exposed somehow. You have drawn the line. You have set up some kind of boundaries, Sagittarius, and now they can't spy on you. They can't manifest. Mm. Very selfish. Yeah, and now they're stuck. It could be that boundaries. Someone was competing with you, Sag. They were jealous of you and they were competing with you. Your success. Your... You're on a solid foundation. Ah, Jesus, Sag. So they were taking your ideas. They were taking your time, your energy or something like that and giving them to build with someone else. It was unjust, unfair. They were taking your creative talents, your creative ideas, and they were um, leaving and bringing them to someone else. Yep, 
going back and forth. Yes, they were. There is a couple that was betraying you, Sagittarius. That is the truth. And now this person is hostile and angry that you freed yourself, Sag. <laughs> they were stealing your ideas, your creations. They were. You are the Empress energy. Very loving, very nurturing. And this person was going back and forth. They were stealing your ideas, claiming them as their own, building with someone else, a karmic. They were stealing. This is a king of wands. Yep. Offering you heartbreak and offering Oh yeah. Secrets. I told you. These are two People that were secretly planning to hurt you, Sagittarius. <laughs> Either your inheritance, your money, your... Gifts, they were manipulating you, Sag, manipulating. They were taking your energy, your time, your ideas, investing somewhere else at the expense of you. Until they got exposed. There was someone lurking in the shadows here. Sagittarius. They were. And now they can't manifest without you. Yeah, they were stealing Sagittarius and they were giving this money or giving these ideas to someone else. It's almost like this person, you know, was trying to like be friendly to you so they could steal your ideas and capitalize on them financially. They were. They were planning to. It's what this person was doing in the past, Sagittarius. They were stealing something from you. They were stealing your ideas and using that to build with someone else, Sagittarius. This is what you worked for. You were a caregiver. You were loving unconditionally. You did not suspect these people were doing it. But they were communicating with someone in secret. It was a plan and a strategy, somehow Sagittarius, to steal from you steal your inheritance, 
steal a, a financial plan, your ideas. <laughs> yes, they were. They were communicating with someone in secret. There was somebody lurking in the shadows. And I think Spirit told you they were draining on your energy, Sag. You know? And this person was going back and forth, taking all your knowledge, all your wisdom. And we're building, using those tools to build with someone else in secret. And since you set up boundaries and maybe you walked away from this person or they walked away from you, they were thinking that they could manifest and build with the ideas and the knowledge that you gave to create something with someone else. And they're pissed off because they can't. Holy gee, Sagittarius. So I want to ask a few questions here. Spirit is saying, listen to your body. Like, you might have, it's showing back something was laying heavy on your back you may have felt like a heavy burden on your back there's something on your head as well your head might have felt heavy your body may have felt um low energy look this feminine in here has got some attachment on their back on their head weighing you down like your energy might have been at an all-time low blue like the person is feeling blue they're feeling heavily weighted down there's something on their back there's something on their hips even their head and i see that this feminine in here has got a lot of like amulets around. Maybe you started wearing like a lot of amulets to protect your energy. Maybe you started wearing things to clear your energy, clear. You may have started packing around a lot of um, crystals or amulets to protect your energy. You started listening to your body. You're like, man, something isn't right here. You started to become aware that whenever this person was around your energy, you started to feel blue, heavy, feeling some kind of heavy attachment. That's because this person was going back and forth with someone else. And it's like this person might have been picking your brain uh, for your ideas. And you're like, I feel drained here. You might have started carrying, like I said, a lot of crystals or healing jewelry or amulets. It's like, I need to protect my energy here. They were stealing your energy to build with someone else and bringing that negative energy from that other person to you. You were picking up on someone else's energy. And you're like, why do I feel so weighted down? Why do I feel hurt? Why do I feel blue? <sighs> and then when this person would go away, 
you would start to feel more alive. You would start to feel healthier. You started to become more aware. Why is this person's energy vibing so high and mine is so low? You're picking up on vibrations of the person that they were dealing with. You might have been picking up on their pain, their wounds, their heavy burdens, their energy. They were stealing your energy, Sag, and they were empowering themselves. You're wondering why you couldn't transform or manifest the way that you normally did. Because it was this... They were bringing their attachments to you, Saj. Whoever this person was dealing with. This person plus another person, Saj. They were becoming wealthy off of your ideas, your creative talents, your passions. Did you ever notice, Saj, when this person would go away out of your life, you started to feel better, more lively? Your energy could have been drained for a long, long time. You may have gone to like Reiki. You may have gone to like wearing crystals and amulets you were paying attention to your body why do i feel so down in the dumps why do i feel like oh i can't get out of bed i'm not sleeping properly you are picking up on the vibrations of whoever this person was dealing with you're very sensitive Sad, you're a sensitive, which means you feel, see, even though you were healthy, you're all in green here. There is this heaviness around your aura. And it's covering your head. And it's covering portions of your body. <clears throat> they were getting stronger while you were getting weaker. Now you're highly respected, Saj. You were beyond the ordinary. You're a wise mentor of some type. You were very loving and nurturing, but they were not caring at all for you, Saj. They were stealing, you know, that's the warrior. They were, they were weakening you while they were being empowered. While they were getting stronger, you were getting weaker. They were out communicating. They were going in between. And this um, karmic, I'm going to call him a karmic. They were doing shadow, something in the darkness. They were communicating in the darkness, trying to learn what you had mentored. They were picking your person's brain to find out what Sagittarius knew. Stealing your gifts, Sagittarius, and making money off it. Huh. They were stealing your freaking energy, Sag. This karmic was learning from a masculine, your masculine, your person. 
everything you knew. This karmic was picking your person's brain of what you knew. You had a lot of wisdom. You had a lot of knowledge. You were get, you're having a lot of growth now, Sagittarius, since this person's been gone. They were stealing your energy and giving it to someone else and replacing that energy from the sickness that this karmic had to you. This karmic had a lot of dark attachments and you probably felt it in the vibrations. You probably felt it, Sag. You're a sensitive. It was affecting your health, affecting your body, affecting your energy. It's because this karmic was trying to suck the lifeblood out of you. And since you have set up boundaries and blocked this person or been out of this person's life, you may notice all of a sudden, you know, you can manifest better, your headaches may be going away, your vibrations are raising higher, you're getting back to your old self. You're like, what's wrong with me? How come I can't sleep? How come I how come I feel so weak? How come I'm hurting? How come my head hurts? How come my back hurts? How come my hips hurt? They were draining your freaking life blood out of you, Sag. Spirits like, who oh, no. No, no, no. See, they were getting more strong and more powerful, and you were getting weaker. They weren't caring back. They weren't showing you love and affection. They would like act like they were your friend. They were stealing your energy, Saj. Yeah, their vibrations were getting heavier. Now, they're, they might have been doing chanting. This karmic maybe have been exploring into chanting. I'm hearing. Stealing your energy. And for some of you, it could still be going on, which is why you need to really protect your energy. If your vibrations are very low, this is why. That's an energy exchange going on, Sag. This person was siphoning your energy and giving it to a karmic, and they were becoming more powerful at your expense. Huh. They were stealing your knowledge. They are. They're trying to siphon your knowledge. Two people again. One of them might have been like using sound. To steal your vibrations. It's all about vibrations, Sagittarius. <laughs> you are so respected here, Sag. And this person was taking, when they would come to you, this is uncharted waters. So this person figured that they would go see you, take what they had siphoned, and brought it to another energy. Vice versa, when this person would come see you, it's like you were picking up 
on this negative vibration. That's what the karmic was doing. Sending you negative vibrations, negative energy, siphoning your ideas, your knowledge. See, they were doing something in the shadows here. I think they were conjuring something. Look. This person has dark attachments. Whoever they are dealing with. I don't even like touching the card. And if you guys are feeling this way, Spirit is saying that's why. Your gifts, Saj. Your gifts. Your knowledge. Your wisdom, your vibrations, just being around you, Sagittarius, was raising the vibrations of the person that you were dealing with, plus who they were dealing with. Because you're highly respected, Sagittarius. Highly respected by the universe. Highly respected could be Sagittarius. See? You were awakening the genius. You were awakening the genius within yourself. And these people knew that you had genius ideas. And they were picking your brain, stealing those ideas and bringing them forward to someone else. That's why this person didn't want to let you go. Because you're beyond the ordinary. And they were pulling off a smoke and mirror act. They were telling a tall tale. They were lying. See, and when you would get together, you were bringing this person's energy up and draining your energy. And they would take that energy and give it to you until they were exposed and revealed. There's something extraordinary going on here, Sagittarius. So I want to ask the universe, now that Sagittarius is no longer with this person, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen now that Sagittarius... He's no longer with this person. Well, there's that jealousy again. That's what that jealous. Cold cold-hearted, someone ruthless, someone uncaring. Your ideas, your gifts, your ten of pentacles, Sagittarius. 
You're being blessed by the universe. You're inspired. And this person is jealous of your wealth, your gifts, your inheritance, something like that. They are jealous and envious of your wealth, Sag. Earth Angel, they're jealous. You're highly intuitive, Sagittarius. They were trying to trap you in your mind, keep you trapped. You are a warrior. You're a spiritual warrior. And you're being blessed. And this person's trying to block your blessings. Don't let them play on your emotions. Don't let them play on your feelings, your emotions. Guard your emotions. Set up boundaries, Sagittarius, because I'm telling you, giving and receiving, they're going to come in taking and giving to someone else. Block them. Because they are planning. Your work. Your creations. What you have worked on, they plan on taking. and giving to someone else. They're jealous. They're envious and jealous that you have ignored them or that they cannot fill up on your energy anymore. They could be pinching pennies. That's greed. And they are planning on something with the third party. Maybe they're planning to reconcile with you, Sagittarius. Maybe they need, uh, yeah, look at you. You're celebrating and you are confident in your building. That's that entrepreneur energy. You're vibing high again, Sag. You need to protect yourself. And since you've walked away, You're vibing high again, Sag. Look, you're on your way to the Ten of Pentacles. You're being blessed financially. You're the Ten of Pentacles single. I'm telling you. This person was stealing your ideas, your creations, and manifesting with someone else, draining you of your resources, draining you of your energy, your ideas, your time, picking your brain. Somebody's picking your brain, Saj, because they're pinching pennies. They're being greedy. And it is an emperor who is being greedy. They were establishing themselves off your ideas, your energy. With and working with this damn karmic and giving. Look at this karmic is rising up. With that money, with that idea, creating. Stole it from who? The Empress. It's unfair, it's unjust. 
And since you've ended things with this person and guarded your energy, this emperor is going to come in all lovey-dovey here. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. To keep you stuck again. Period. That's that back and forth energy. Come charging in. You know what I mean? To control you. Because I think things are out of control. And they're resentful. And they're angry. And they're out of control. Their life is out of control. That's aggression. That's anger. That's holding a grudge. That is racing in. See? What are they after? Ten of Pentacles. This other lover. That's why this person feels betrayed. Gossip, rumor, death. <laughs> yep. I told you they were coming to you, draining you dry to give to this other lover. And when you set up boundaries, they think it's unfair, but this person... Oh, oh, the karmic is going to try and hurt you somehow, or is trying to hurt you somehow. Uh -huh. See, they're arguing and fighting for this. You are a star seed, divinely guided. This is your justice. This is your... <sighs> North Node, this is, it's for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> and here they come. Oh, hi, Sag. They're still a player. They're still a deceiver. They're broke. They're broke. They're a thief. A vibrational thief. An energy thief. An idea thief. Take it as it resonates. Shadow. Okay? Huh. Whoa. So this person could be depressed. And they're looking for an energy lift. I need a boost. I need an energy lift again. Mm -hmm. King of Wands is jealous. Envious of you, of your blessings, of your new beginning, of your success. They're jealous and they're envious. And so is the person that they're dealing with. Because when you ended things with this person, things have all slowed down with them and now they are stressed out and worrying about this money. Mm. 
That's why Spirit is telling you to guard yourself, protect yourself, because these people are greedy and they're low on funds. And they may come in with a big love offer, but they're manipulating because they cannot manifest what it is that they had since you walked away or they walked away from you. They cannot manifest. So when could they manifest when Saji was in their life? Yep. But they are empowering themselves off of being connected to you. But they are giving to this other person. And they plan on juggling. And so this karmic is sitting here going, hey, we're getting low on funds. And they're looking at the Empress as stability. You're celebrating. And they're low on cash. They're low on coin. And you are got the Wheel of Fortune. So the tables have turned. This person was doing financially well when you were around them. They seem to have the Golden Midas touch. And since you're not in their life, they have lost the Midas touch. And they're planning to know what you know, Saj. Mentoring. They're planning to know what you know. Oh, I better go back and learn some more from Sagittarius, my earth angel. You're high ranking, Sagittarius. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. You may have been promoted. You may have rose up in the ranks. And now they are planning to apologize to you. Spirit is saying not to trust these people. They want what you have, Sag. So does this karmic. Even the karmic is saying, go apologize to Sagittarius. Get in their good graces again. I need that money. Because wish fulfillment, they were filling up. They're very selfish, self-centered. And they're sending this person back in to who? The past person. To make them stuck again. See, they're stuck. There's that Odin's crow with the coin. I need more coin. So they plan on communicating. They're strategizing. And they're planning something, Sagittarius. Uh-huh. It's your work. They're heavily burdened. And I think that this doing something in the shadows, Sagittarius. They need a feed off of Sag. But don't trust them, Sagittarius. They're cold-hearted. They're holding a grudge. They are jealous and they are envious of you and your accomplishments, your ideas. You're highly respected, highly honored, and they want to feed off of you somehow. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Trying to 
trying to block your blessings, Sagittarius. They are spying, but they can't find something out. They're spying, but they can't see. They're spying, but they're being blocked. They're spying, but they can't see. This emperor cannot see, cannot manifest, cannot produce. Hmm. It's entrapment. You freed yourself, Sagittarius. They had you trapped and you freed yourself. This person is sitting here going through a tower, trying to smooth things over about a tower. Crying over spilt milk. One foot in, one foot out, Sag. This person could be going through an emotional tower or some kind of crisis. And they want to return, Sagittarius, and they're going to be telling you, I'm so sorry, I'm so regretful. I don't know, Sag. What I always notice about they've spilt out their cups, Sagittarius, and this person may need another energy boost. They may need an emotional uplifting. You know what I mean? They've emptied out their cups, but they got one foot in and one foot out. They're still in that sneaky ass energy. Sagittarius. You're going to have to guard yourself, Sagittarius. You're going to have to protect yourself because they're still in there in this. It's a trap, Sagittarius. trying to trap you again playing on your emotions this karmic is still in the picture Sagittarius trying to keep you stuck they're in a bind they're still with this other love careful 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 Saggy They may try to blindside you somehow, Sagittarius, confuse you again, put you up in your mind again. You're going to have to heal all over again, Saggy. The spirit does not want to see you going through this. You're vibing high. You raised this person up. You made them powerful. You, they were doing at your expense. 
and that's why spirit told you to walk away or they walked away it's your ideas this person may be wanting to restart something with you but they're still with this other love they're looking at coin <laughs> What you're working on, Sag. Hey, hey, Sag, can we be friends? Mm -mm. Cause that's what they're looking for, Sag. You're being blessed. Whatever you do for your work, everything you've worked on, Saj, it's a warning. Don't trust this person. They're still with the karmic energy. This They were feeding off you. Saji, it's sick, but they were. Don't fall for it. I'm even in this reading. You got a lot of good ideas, Saji. You were mentoring this person. And they were mentoring to the karmic what they learned about you your ideas of manifesting new uh, jobs, creations, a new business, something like that, Saji. But they can't manifest with this karmic. So this person needs another fill-up. That's what this read is saying, Saji. I'm sorry, but I would rather warn you than not tell you. Take care, Saji.